everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me once again for tea time. Today we have some misty morning. Really, really good stuff. I'm at the end, I'm gonna have to make some more. I hope you're hanging out with me, having a cup of coffee, maybe some tea also, maybe some hard liquor. <laughs> Whatever does it for you this morning is great. I just appreciate you being here. So today, I just wanna have some fun. We're gonna talk a little bit about what five things that you and I are probably using every single day that is most likely dirtier than a public toilet. <laughs> also, why washing your hands in some cases is really completely useless. And finally, finally, I wanna share with you a real world story about a product that was accidentally developed. So let's get right into it. Let me first say, Cold and flu season is here, guys. And my God, I live down here in South Florida and a lot of people say, wow, you're in paradise, Joe. You shouldn't have that much cold and flu. You're not in the North where it's freezing. Well, a lot of the people from the North, we call them snowbirds, come down, bring the funk. So if you go to the stores, everyone is sick. I shoot commercial photography, but I also do galas. I do events. And some of the galas have three, four, 500 people at these galas. And can I just tell you, this season, so many people are just sneezing and hacking. It's just crazy. What has gone on this year? I don't know, I don't know. So let me get into a couple of things. Let me first start out in reverse order about this accidental product that happened. Well, about six months ago, guys, I developed a product and it was the Aurora Camera Care sensor as well as lens cleaning kits. They're for cleaning your sensors for your camera like APS-C, micro four thirds, full frame, whatever. And they also have a microfiber cleaning cloth that is perfect for cleaning your high-end lenses, okay? And that is this development. Now I sent these out to some beta testers, some people just to check them out, see how they work, see if there's anything that needs to be changed, whatever. And a lot of these beta testers came back and said, you know what, these things work perfect. Your sensor cleaners are perfect because you don't have to go and have like this extra liquid and figure out and guess how much liquid you need. And then the dry, they come in a two pack. So you have a dry and you have your wet. You use your wet first and use your dry and your sensor is clean. Well, the same thing with your lenses, all right? You have your wet and you have your dry. You open the wet, clean your lens, open the dry, wipe that off, and you have a spotless lens. Very simple. Well, what was very interesting is when they came back and told me how great it was, I was like, oh, that's great, that's fantastic, that makes me feel good. That means there's not any kind of revisions that I have to make, and hence, the product went out there for sale, and you can find it at B&H and Amazon, my site, everywhere else. But what they did come back and say, which was very interesting, is when we were done cleaning, that still had the liquid on it. And it was just, it was hard to just throw it in the garbage, right? Because it wasn't a paper wipe. This was an actual cleaning cloth that was like a two-ply, heavy-duty, ultra-fine, awesome, high-quality microfiber cleaning cloth. So they're like, what can we do with it? So they started cleaning their phone. So they used the wet on the phone, and they used the dry, and like, oh my God. And they did the same thing with their iPad and all of these things. And they came back to me and said, you know, I don't know if you know this or not, but we tried those wipes on our phones. And when we were done cleaning the phone, the phone was like inky black. It looked like we just peeled off that security plastic off the top, like if it was brand new. And the same thing with our iPads and our tablets and everything else. Did you know that this was like, I'm like, I mean, I guess it makes sense. I didn't really develop it for that, but I guess it makes sense. I mean, I made it so that it would be 100% safe for like high-end optics. Hasselblad, Leica, I don't care what it is. Tens, 20, $30,000 lenses, microscope light, you can use this on it, all right? So I'm like, well, I can imagine it would be not a problem using it on your iPad, your iPhone or whatever. So they said, you know, there's one thing that we would like to request, and that would be more cleaning fluid in that pre-moistened cloth. I'm like, why is that? They're like, well, so we can do bigger things like a laptop screen and like the big 12.9 inch iPads and this type of thing. I'm like, okay, 
no problem. So after about a month or two, we did a couple of tweaks to the formula and we also had more liquid put into those microfiber cloths. And now we have this new product, which is an ACP product, which is Aurora Cleaning Products, and it is a microfiber cleaning cloth. <laughs> so this is the type of things that happen. Now, before I get into anything else regarding this product, I wanna tell you about these five items that are absolutely filthy that we both use, you and I, every single day, and they're just gross. They're just simply gross. Now, in no specific order, number one, of course, would be your keyboard. These things are just normally absolutely nasty. Number two would be your mouse. How many thousands of miles do you put on these things? Number three would be your laptop. Now, some of these are just simply the pad as well as your keyboard, but some of them are touchscreen also, and those touchscreens get absolutely junked up and full of bacteria. Then number four, we have our tablet. Now for me, obviously, it is an iPad. They get all gummed up. That's all you're doing is touching it. And as you can see, it's pretty gross. And number five would be the absolute dirtiest. That is your phone. These things are said to have 10 times as much bacteria on them as a public toilet. This is by the EPA and the CDC, the Center for Disease Control. So these are absolutely nasty. Now, I'm gonna give you three others that I'm sure you'll probably agree with. Number six would be the handheld video game. Your kids play with these all the time. They get nasty, gummed up, all kinds of fingerprints, bacteria, sneezing. They hand it to their friends to use. It is disgusting. Number seven would be their game controllers. Now, this could be your game controller, but game controllers in general, these things get nasty, really nasty, full of bacteria and not cleaned very often. And lastly, we have the in-car touchscreen. They are awesome, they are beautiful, they're great. But the problem is they always have like barbecue sauce and ketchup and ice cream and just gunk all over them. And of course, a ton of bacteria. So these are a couple of things. I gave you eight, I was gonna give you five, but eight that are just full of bacteria that we use daily. And the phone is probably the most, the grossest out of all of them. And what's really gross is being that it has 10 times more germs than a public toilet, we, what do we do? We stick them right to our head, like right near our mouth, our eyes, right on our face. Women have like, makeup all over them. Men have like greases and all kinds of stuff all over them. These things are nasty, absolutely nasty. Now keep in mind, public toilets, a lot of them are cleaned once a day, twice a day. Some of them are even cleaned once every hour and they make a list, a chart of who cleaned it and at what time. So a lot of these toilets are cleaned all the time. When are your phones or your handheld video games, your keyboards or mice or anything, when are they cleaned? Once a week, once a month, once never? <laughs> so that is what ends up happening and that's why these items are so disgusting for the most part because they really don't get cleaned very often and you're holding them all the time and contaminating yourself. And that's why a lot of us are continuously getting sick, colds and flu and what, we don't know why. We think that we went somewhere, we didn't go anywhere. So all we did was we went on our phone, played a video game or something on our phone and now we're sick again. This goes back to the statement that I made saying that washing your hands in most cases is completely useless. Well, <laughs> if you wash your hands really well and then pick up this phone that has 10 times more germs on it than a public toilet, well, your hands are now dirty again. Now that leads us back full circle to that product that I accidentally stumbled upon, the Aurora microfiber cleaning cloths. Let me show you what they look like. Let's take a look at it here. So that's what it looks like inside of a package. There's a lot of glare there, isn't there? You know what, let me throw it on the table and I'll show you what it looks like, right? Let's go ahead and, I don't, I don't know, we have some glare even on this. We can see what it looks like from the front and turn it over to the back. You know what, let me grab one that's already open. Here we go. So we'll just move this one out of the way. This is the front of it. Obviously we have Aurora cleaning products, microfiber cleaning cloths. You have a wet 
as well as a dry. It is a two-step cleaning process. Now, if we flip it over, you'll see that you have your instructions, what it's good for, what it does. Remember guys, these cleaning cloths I developed to not only clean your lenses extremely well, but the cleaning liquid inside the pre-moistened wipes does remove 99% of all bacteria, 93% of all viruses, and it does include an antifungal in it also. So not only are we making things look clean, they are actually clean. So this gives you an idea of what the product's about and how to use it, the instructions and whatnot. Let's go ahead and get in here. So as you can see, we have one, two, three sets. There's six altogether. Three dries and three wet. They come as these sets. They look like this, all right? Actually, you know what? Let me put this one back in here. I'm gonna grab a set that's loose. Here we go. So that's what they look like, all right? These are sealed inside of a clean room, all right? So you have no dust, no lint, no bacteria, no nothing. So let's go real quickly and clean something. Let me grab my iPad here. As you can see, my iPad's kind of smudged up here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tap it on my forehead, try to get a little bit more greases and stuff in it. Maybe you can see it. Let me move these to the side. Can you see any of this? No, sometimes it's hard. There you go. You can see some of the grime and grub that's on there. That's normal. So what we do is we open one of these wet ones first. We pull that out. This is moist. We open it up and you end up with a six by six cloth. Now, like I said, this is high quality microfiber, ultra fine, okay? And it's two ply. It's not like this cheap stuff that a lot of times you see over on Amazon and eBay. This stuff was originally made to be used on Hasselblad, Leica, on expensive multi-coat lenses. So I had to make them like this. They're not paper, guys, okay? So we open this and we just clean the iPad, just like this. We go over it once. And then we open one of the dry ones, like this. We go over it. And guess what, guys? That is it. If you look at this now, I don't know if you can see, let me see, uh, maybe, maybe. It is, as the guy said, inky black. There is absolutely no dust, no oil, no smudges, no fingerprints, no nothing. And the thing is, guys, this is not only perfectly clean, just like, as they told me, you just peeled off the protective layer, but, like I said, 99% of the bacteria is gone, 93% or more of the viruses are gone, and once again, it also has the antifungal in there. So this is actually clean, clean, clean. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the phone. Look at this thing. Now this is really smudged up. Can you see that? There you go. You see it? How all those smudges? Watch. Back, forth, a couple of times like that. We take the dry and we also go over it a couple of times like that. And now if you look, I'm gonna hold it up. Just like I said, 100% inky, inky black. Let me put it down, see, can you see that? I don't even know. Sometimes these cameras, you can see it, sometimes you can't. Anyways, this is black. Dust free, oils free, bacteria free, viral free, 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 free. So like I said, you're clean to look at, but you're also clean to touch. And that's the most important part. We can do that with anything. Let me grab my son's, look at this thing. Oh my God, I'm, this probably should have been done a long time ago. Look at that, look at how gross that thing looks. Can you see all the grime and smudges and stuff on there? Once again, you take the wet, Go over it a couple of times like that. Drop that one, then take the dry, go over it like this. And guess what guys, look at it. Spotless, spotless. I'm not exaggerating, you see it happening. <laughs> this is not like sleight of hand or something. 100% spotless, nothing, no smears, no nothing. And like I said, there's no bacteria on it. Now what I would do is besides the screen, I would clean the controls too with this and then go back over it with the dry, okay? That's just to be safe so that you clean the entire device front and back, but I'm not gonna do it for you. You get the idea. So once again, guys, you have one wet, 
one dry. They come in pairs as sets. It's very easy to take a set and stick it into your purse, stick it into your camera bag, your back pocket, your car, or whatever, and you know that you're able to clean things appropriately, clean them well. Like I said, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, everything in here. So the one other thing that I'd like to say is when you have this and there's still wetness to it and you didn't use it over like some big surface, there's still a lot of moisture to it, I would say, you know what? Use this on your light switches in your house. Use this on your control for your TV. Use this on your door handles also. There's no reason to let it go to waste. These things are high quality two-ply microfiber. This isn't paper or some kind of cheap cloth. And a lot of the beta testers said, it was hard for me to take this and throw it in the garbage. Some of them would actually take the dry one and stick it into their camera bag and just use it for weeks to come, all right? Don't do that. <laughs> Buy a new one, they don't cost a lot. And this way you're not like recontaminating stuff. So guys, I hope you found this video interesting. I think it's amazing when you create a product that's supposed to go this direction, does well that way, but then later on through beta testing and just being out in the wild, it makes a turn and goes this way and is used more oftenly in this direction than the original use. Remember, this product was originally designed for high-end optics, right? Was a little bit reworking and now the accidental product, the Aurora microfiber cloth was invented. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please, Tell a friend, colleague, family member, anyone that might also find some use in it. That would be awesome. And if you want to find the Aurora microfiber cleaning cloths, you can find them over at BH on Amazon.com. And of course, you can find it on jchristina.com, my site. And since you made it to the end of this video, I want to say thank you by providing 20% off anything that you purchase, including this product and anything else you stick into your shopping cart. Use promo code YT20 at checkout and you will get 20% off everything. Doesn't matter what it is. Also, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel so you get all of my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon up there so when videos do come out, you will be notified of it. And finally, many blessings to you and your family. Keep safe and keep healthy. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next one.